the typical dog we're going to see at a, a mid-distance event like this is usually going to be a hybrid dog or a crossbred dog um, as a group that referred to as Alaskan Huskies. And so these are dogs that are, are, are bred and developed for their athletic traits and their ability to uh, run in this sort of weather conditions and also do the distances that we're talking about. Friday morning, mushers and their teams took part in a pre-race vet check each dog meeting with a veterinarian team to undergo a physical examination. The purpose of that is to get some baseline values so we can keep track of things uh, during the course of the race to evaluate how the dogs are adapting to the race conditions and making certain they are staying safe on the trail. You know, the vets are a big part of this race. They've got a great vet team they always have here. Uh, I, since I've been doing it so long, I know majority of the vets very well and I'm um, very appreciative of what they do. Vets spent time with each dog running through multiple tests to make sure they're ready to take the trail. The key things we look at to help us evaluate the dogs, one is their heart rate, so we're going to listen to that. We're also going to listen to make certain their heart has a normal rhythm. Um, we're also going to assess what's called their body condition score, which is the level of, of muscling and body fat that they have on them, so that gives us an idea of their reserve. And then we'll do a, a brief uh, musculoskeletal exam to make certain there aren't any uh, problems that we feel would be aggravated by being on the trail. Well, they're, they're uh, checking hydration and uh, they're checking feet for any fissures in between the paws and then they're doing the heart rate. The big thing is the heart rate. If a dog has too high of a heart rate, uh, then they will come back and, and check it a little bit later. Sometimes younger dogs at a vet check, especially if it's their first vet check, they might be a little excited, so they, uh, um, they might have a little higher heart rate uh, and usually they'll settle down the vets will come back and, and test it again. Vet teams are available for mushers around the clock in case of an emergency, and they will be meeting with teams throughout the race. The dogs will have a mandatory checkpoint at Wetmore going up to Grand Marais. At, at Grand Marais, we have a veterinary team available if there are any concerns. And then Wetmore downbound, they will undergo another mandatory exam. And then again, we'll have a race uh, a vet team at the finish. You know, the vets are there to help you. They're, they're not there to stop a dog from running. They, they want to assist you. They want to make sure as many dogs get to the finish line. And there's little things that are going to happen. You're going to get a sore wrist. Dogs are going to be stiff. I mean, I, I uh, leave in checkpoints, I'm pretty stiff in my body, so the same with the dogs, so. Stand by. Now speaking more with Tom Gustafson, he says that these dogs are like family to their mushers, and that's what athletes say about their teammates. Vet teams will be working closely with mushers to make sure everyone is safe throughout the entirety of the UP200. Now I'm gonna stay here at the starting gate to get ready for the opening ceremonies. Rebecca, throwing it back to you in the studio.